Jujubes. We are going bird watching today. And yeah, it's another vlog. And if you don't like vlogs, oopsies. But it's my channel and I'll do what I want to. <laughs> No, but seriously, I love bird watching. I am a birder or a bird watcher. So I packed my binoculars. So these, which I, I, it's kind of dusty because it's really, really been like a decade since I used them. <laughs> and I also brought my BC bird guide book. So hopefully, I will see some birds I have not checked off of my checklist yet. Okay, here we are. We have arrived to somewhere. <laughs> Hoping we see birdies. There's a nice river here. This is actually pretty. I'm gonna take a picture. There was a bald eagle up there. I don't know if I can film it. It went away. It's far away now. There's another bird here, probably like a heron or something. Or maybe it's a bald eagle as well. What is this? What bird is that? <laughs> no, it's enormous. I like my nails. We're going to that little brown tower thing. I just realized that you and mom match. Mom is wearing gray pants, Joyce is wearing a gray top, and purple bottoms and purple top. Higher and higher we go. swamp thing here. A little inlet. There's a couple of bike riders. This is so cute. So far, zero birds. Well, we've seen the ones that were flying in the sky way too high above us to see what species they were. Okay, so we saw crows. <laughs> I actually really like crows though. They're one of my favorite birds. Also, something keeps jumping out of the water and going back into the water. It might be a flying fish, maybe, or a river otter, or a regular fish, but it's been too fast and none of us have gotten a good look at it yet. It is a mystery. She's a mystery. She's too much for me. Watchtower number two. Here we are on another watchtower. Whoa, where? Oh yeah, there's ducks in there. There are a lot of duckies. Let me use my binoculars. Time for my binocs. Oh wait, it's getting hard to focus now. 
They're pretty much in focus in the binoculars. Um, I don't know. I think there's another dial to go closer. I don't know where that other dial is. It's somewhere. Um, I don't know. How can you tell right from left? All both of my eyes were open. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I didn't. I can't tell unless I like wink one of my eyes which one's working or not. What? There's a big bird. Well, I didn't notice anything black. I don't see any birds here, Mom. No. I don't see it. Oh, you sit with your binoculars? No fair. I mean, my binoculars. Well, you look at it then. Okay. Darn it. Okay, well, the bird, the heron. Oh. Yeah, I can't film it. It's too far away. But the heron, if you follow my finger, it is right here. It is at the tip of my finger here. But I can't like go zoom in any further. I really want, you know what I want? What I've always wanted is I want like this like bird watching mm -hmm. lens for my Nikon DSLR. My mom was using the binoculars too. It's a good thing I brought them because the binoculars are so useful. I should take a thumbnail before I forget. I don't know. I don't have any interesting ideas for the thumbnails. So what we saw was a great blue heron, the one that we saw through the binoculars and also I tried to film it for you but I could only show. It was like too far away so I just pointed at it with my finger. Well it is this dude or dudette. There's a very very small rabbit like literally it looks like the size of a hamster. Mm -hmm. I know you can't tell because of like how I'm filming it and everything. But it is a very small rabbit. <laughs> It's like the size of a gerbil or a, or like a really skinny guinea pig. Oh, it's gone. This checklist is not very updated, but anyway, I just saw the great blue heron as you can see. I'm going to try to check it off as long as this pen has ink. Yeah. Woohoo. Look at this electrical wire and can you hear like there's like tons of birds on there. They're having like a party, a big fiesta. I don't know what bird this is. I'm gonna look at it through my binoculars. So through the binoculars, they looked like they were gray or white and had some sort of tinge of orangey red, vermilion color, I don't know. They're super loud. I'm gonna go to my favorite bird website, whatbird.com. I'm gonna see if I can find what species these, these party birds are really hard to tell what it is so we're giving up temporarily on identifying that bird but there's literally like a thousand of them here and they're very loud it could be a dusky thrush or a northern water thrush or a marsh wren I mean I tried to put the description into whatbird.com and there was like five results and I only went through the top 
three results so far. I'm not sure because it's really hard to see them when they're so high up. Check out this mountain over here. That's nice looking. Very nice, very nice. Stephanie's falling off into oblivion. It is very grasslandish, marshy. Or I guess this isn't a marsh, but it's like prairie almost. My socks have stars on them. There's a cute bridge here and another Rowan charm, I mean, Rowan tree. <laughs> Rowan tree. There's my mom up there on another watchtower. That bridge area is so cute. I was taking pictures over there because like literally right now because it's golden hour, everything looks so beautiful here on this little rickety bridge. Watchtower number three. Oh, there's different couples that write their names here. So scenic. And on we go. What, wait, what's that like song that I really like from Little Mermaid 2? It's like Titanic, no, Titanium or something. Shipping. Like cool. Oh my gosh, yeah, it does look cool. You know that song that I'm talking about though? No. It's like, <laughs> this looks so cool. You know that song where it's like there, I was really obsessed with that song before. It was like, uh, now it's on the tip of my tongue and I don't remember like what it's called. Titan, Nick Drippin, Bearing Dock, <laughs> Adventurers slash Explorers. I don't remember those characters' names. Oh no, it's been too long since I've seen The Little Mermaid 2, which is my favorite Disney princess movie. Oh no, I need to rewatch it. Or Google that song. This is really pretty though. Wait, someone take pictures of me here. I feel like Alice in Wonderland. Wow, this place is beautiful. Wait, have we been here before, Mom? Huh? Have we been here before? Hmm. Okay, I Googled it. Titanic tip and daring dash adventures slash explorers. Wow, look at it. Another stunning bridge that nobody will take pictures of me at. You guys should take pictures of me at this bridge too. Wow, look at this little creek. Look, how pretty is this? Check out these little bird houses for birds to go in there and then put their nest materials inside. Cute, right? Okay, so we are going back to the car now. This thing is like lopsided. <laughs> it's drooped. It is weary. Um, we're gonna probably go to a restaurant for takeout or either takeout or dine-in, I'm not sure. Yeah. See you there. So mm. there's potato rolls that we got. There is curry noodles okay. with a mild spiciness and vegetables, broccoli. Oh, I like broccoli, bok choy, and t crispy tofu. So that is our little meal. Tappy. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Meow. Are you happy that we're home? Are you gonna start running around and howling at the ceiling? Yeah? At the Chinese restaurant we went to, peaceful restaurant, the worker, the lady there, complimented my bean sprout. I said that it's like very similar to the WeChat bean sprout. You know how on WeChat there's that green bean sprout? This is what I'm trying to emulate. <laughs> and she asked me where I got it and I said AliExpress. So yes, now you guys know too. Anyway, 
Uh, we are going to eat this together at the table. We never eat at the table, but it's kind of special because Joyce is leaving soon to go back to Ontario. And the camera's not focusing on me. But anyway, I will end this now. Bye, Jujubes. Thank you. Huh? Do 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 for Joyce, huh? Okay. I am doing some research on the computer and I'm like 88% sure that the birds, like the flock of birds that were like thousands of them on that electrical, whatever you call it, that they are desk tap. Okay, I forgot the name of that. <laughs> northern water thrush because I'm like reading about them right now and they are migratory which means they probably do travel in a large number I'm guessing that's what migratory means so they winter in South America which means that they're probably on their way to South America and we saw them as they were you know sleeping for the night or getting ready to sleep for the night I don't know because they have a long way to go in their flight. So, I think I'm right. Any bird experts, tell me. I'll probably put the photos somewhere in the video, but yeah. Anyway, Northern Water Thrush. Such a hands off.